No matter your age, everyone can learn something new. Now, students and residents of Dangriga have the chance to dive into exciting educational and technological opportunities at the U Space Hub in the Ignacio Cacho Library. ERA representative Louis Zabane shared more about this innovative space with us. The Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology now have been um, across the country, Corozal, Orange Rock and now Nangriga, uh, opening up these uh, U spaces that are very exciting um, with the times uh, so that we could provide our young people uh, with a very special environment uh, for which they can uh, uh, use uh, technology uh, and certainly um, also perhaps after school or on weekends, um, be able to access uh, information that they might not otherwise be able to do. So um, this investment from the ministry, um, along with our partners at UNICEF, uh, is significant for our people across the country. Built in partnership with UNICEF, this space offers a wealth of resources for all ages. Visitors can access digital devices, and develop skills in areas like robotics and coding. UNICEF Education Officer Natasha Mantok shared that these hubs are designed to spark creativity and innovation. Today we gather to celebrate a milestone in our digital transformation agenda under the Team Connection to underscore the critical need for safe, child-friendly spaces where accesses to services and resources are needed. What fitting place but the Ignacia Library, where children of Dangriga will be space, safe to explore in our youth space. It is pivot, pivotal in leveraging technology to transform and accelerate learning and skill development. Represents a paradigm shift of how we can merge our traditional methods with our technology for children to be safe and learn. Zabane emphasized how crucial it is to provide access to these resources noting that many Belizeans can't afford to pursue these skills through higher education. Dangriga is very grateful. Uh, Dangriga, Sarawi and Hoprik, we are grateful for this investment because we know that there are many of our families uh, who cannot afford uh, to purchase uh, this kind of uh, technology. Uh, and now we have within the Ignacia Cacho uh, Library um, under the Belize National Library Service uh, a space uh, for them to be able uh, to do some exciting work and fit into the fourth industrial revolution, which is all about science, technology, and innovation. The U space is the fourth to be launched in Belize, and the government intends to roll them out countrywide. With increased investment in more safe spaces across this country, we will continue to equip children with necessary skills and for them to have a deeper appreciation and understanding of the power of education, culture, technology, and science. To empower every child with the tools and knowledge needed for them to thrive in this new, rapidly evolving world. We are especially pleased to see the youth space really, really inviting our girls. UNICEF prioritizing, prioritizes sorry, adolescent girls and continue to support. Closing this digital divide requires global cooperation, leadership, innovation in finance and technology. Belize has taken this bold step. U-Space aims to offer training beyond the traditional classroom, giving residents the chance to learn skills they might not otherwise have access to. It's all about exposure, right? So if we are saying that uh, we are, we're taking an audacious view with respect to science, technology and innovation, we don't want just to be consumers, but producers going forward. Uh, then that means that our, our people, especially our young people, uh, need to be able to, to adapt that uh, culture from a very young age, uh, a culture where they become very, very comfortable with technology, and in particular with the process of uh, science and innovation. Brittany Gordon for News 5.